so I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you. I was supposed to do this intro like two or three days ago when I got my hair done. And you can see, let's just say this this was a very long and painful experience. But anyways, welcome to my summer transformation video. And today's the day we're transforming because well you really see why there's really nothing else for me to do or anything like that. It's pretty done. Go crazy! Uh, so the first step, or you did the first step. The second step is skincare. So I'm doing a face mask while I'm in the shower. I'm gonna rinse it all, and I'll be back when I get out the shower. Bippity boppity. Did I forget to actually come back when I got out the shower? Yes. Am I completely dressed and ready to go? Yes. I'm so sorry. I'm really bad at this. How you doing? This is Rose, by the way. She's really fun. <laughs> Basically, I'm gonna be vlogging today. It was funny because the dude was sitting here talking to me and like explaining everything like I don't know you and I've never been here, but like I've been here for a year now. So like you literally don't have to explain anything to me. Like sweetie, I already know it all. I'm obviously a genie. My supervisor is on the balcony. Oh man, just wait. <laughs> Wait until I do my lifeguarding pet peeves video because I'm really, really, really hyped, hyped did for that video that to come out, dude. You don't but know. this is us about to do the, How you the working. To be God, ow. How you oh, God, ow. Ow. Day in the life of a lifeguard. It's Memorial Day weekend, by the way. Oh, God. That so this is a horrible angle. Fun story. I have serious story. What's the word? Anxiety? Fear? Horror? Absolute disgust for opening these umbrellas, which is one reason why I didn't want to work the first day because I know that no one opened this before me. And spoiler alert, there be spiders in these holes. But if there's a spider, I swear to God, I'm gonna cry. I might actually. Myself, I swear. To God. I feel like testing chemicals is one of those super repetitive things that you can't forget because it's literally embedded in your brain from doing it every day. I really think that this is going to be a busy but not busy day because it's not like it's super hot but it's not cold and it's the first day that the pool opens. I feel like glasses takes away from the fact that my forehead is very large. But um, hey, update. I don't even know what time it is. I think it's like 12 something. I've literally just been here, you know, sitting. The one thing I really, really like about this specific pool is number one, it only goes up four foot six inches. So if you drown, you don't need to be in the pool at that point. I'm getting a little nervous because, okay, let me tell you the story. So last year when I worked at this pool, like on and off, there was always this one kid right that i literally see because you know as you can see these balconies people live in and there's one that's right over there and the kid used to just come out on the balcony see me sitting here in the chair run back inside and tell his mom Can we go to the pool? but that was not my problem my problem was the fact that he can't swim right and he likes to test my patience so young bull is short like he does not meet the four foot six inch requirement to be in the deep end but like you know how kids will be like you know scaling the side of the pool because you know they want to be cool they don't want to be left out that's what he did like all the time and one day he tried to jump from side to side and did make it across which just made me even more angry because you know i already know you can't swim i also wanted to add that i jumped in with socks on that day like socks on like wet socks like wet soggy socks and your mom knows you can't swim you saw me look at you and be like you know go back to the other side you know you don't belong on this side this side is not for you that's probably the overall thing i don't miss at all but it's literally no one here like at all this is a pool right now it's completely 
but while I have you here, I thought I would come on here and say I want to start doing shout outs of the week. If you have a YouTube channel or Instagram you want me to promote or I don't know, your Snapchat for all I care, it doesn't matter. Oh my god, this bump has been on my forehead. Look at this bump, been on my forehead for like two weeks now and it's really getting on my nerves. But yeah, I want to do, well not exactly a shout out of the week, but subscriber of the week and I'll, you know, mention you, put a little screenshot of your youtube channel or instagram snapchat whatever you want me to promote and i'll do that once a week for one lucky person that is the first to comment oh man what should it be oh god what should the comment be i didn't Oof. i didn't think about this i think i'll do a different word every week so you'd have to actually watch the video and be a loyal subscriber to know what that word is word or phrase or whichever it could be at the end it could be at the beginning of the video it could be in smack dab in the middle i don't care when it is also wanted to add i might not always say it it might just be text on the screen so you have to pay attention but you're gonna have to watch the video from beginning to end to know what the word is so you can comment down below and get a shout out if you're the first person to comment it it's pretty cold and it's windy so i'm really not i'm not having it right now but yeah i'll check back in with you guys uh, probably like when my mom's here for lunch and we can say hi to mom dukes boopity boppity boop hi so i have to pee really bad it's my favorite part about being a lifeguard right i'm wearing a bathing suit all day and i don't remember that i'm actually wearing a bathing suit until times like this but i have to go potty and i have to take everything off just to go to the bathroom just want to share the struggle. <laughs> okay, it took me a minute, but hey, I'm inside, about to have my lunch. I literally hate coming inside where the microwave is because it's like, there's this big wall of just windows and then another wall of windows on the other side of the hallway that leads to like the manager's office. And last year, honey, last year was not it. Like all caps, no cap. He was like such an it's like he was like i don't care if you have political inside for a second or two but like the pool has to stay open and that's just it and i'm sitting here like okay so that means i can't take a lunch for like a second like literally a second no you can't take lunches yeah but um my mom did come bring my lunch as you can see because i now have my lunch obviously oh god he's coming oh god he's coming oh god oh god all right uh, so these are clubs, so they're open to the rest i am genuinely so scared that he's gonna like Hey, I'm in my spot. Anyways, this is my usual lunch spot where I do my usual lunchy things. I love this spot mainly because I can literally see like right outside to the pool. So if someone walks by here and they're going to the pool, I can literally just go outside. Oh yeah, but my mom came to drop off my lunch at like 20 minutes ago. Was she happy about it? No. Hi mom. <laughs> I love and appreciate you though for um, uh, bringing me lunch because I don't what know what I would have done is. with Without food, you know. I'm terrified that I'm that gonna eat all day. Why is this a muffin? Hi, I'm back. I'm really cold. I'm back outside. So in the middle of talking, um, you know, back to no storage. I love that for me. And then two seconds after that, remember earlier when I was talking about the boy that lives up there that you know, you don't know. Just I don't like. He came and just really tested my patience in this cold weather. Because, you know, I'd be even more upset if I had to jump in the pool on this cold, cold, windy day. I'm very happy it didn't get to that point because I would have been very upset and cold and wet and sad. I really just want to go inside because it's cold. It looks like it's going to rain. I really hope it rains so I can actually go inside with a purpose and not have to worry about getting yelled at. It's really cold. Um, that's all I have to say. It's probably like 3 o'clock. I don't, I, don't, I don't even know what time it is. I don't really know. This is ridiculous. It's really cold. I know you guys love this angle of me so much. I'll come back to you. I don't know when, but it's May and I'm shivering. This is not right. Okay, bye. Hi, I'm in the bathroom again. Time to get naked so I can pee. Can you tell I'm bored? smite me now so what just happened let me tell you what just happened so as i'm sitting here explaining the reason why i don't like working here at this specific building here goes the building manager complaining because i'm not outside well i'm gonna need you to chill out because i need the one so yeah he came into the room and then i was like oh i'll be back <laughs> Time for me to get up and act like I was about to go outside. So I got up and did exactly that. Comes in, he was like, Uh, are you, um, are you almost done with your break? And I was 
like, yeah. Yeah, because, you know, we really need you out there, you know. It's okay if it's just like a, a few minutes here and there, but we really need you out there. Need me where? Because the last time I checked, there hasn't been someone even near the pool since like 2.30. It's 5 o'clock now. What do you need me outside for? This is, this is our little pool and there is literally no one outside, right? Right now, that's where I was in that little room right there, right there. That's where I was. And the door to get to the pool is right here. So if anyone came to the pool, because if you walk by the window, I'm going to see that you're going to the pool because I can see the pool directly from the window. You can't make this shit up, bro. Like, who am I about to save? The leaves? What do you want me to do, bro? Like, I'm probably gonna go back inside at six and stay in there until I get off because I don't have time for this. I'm not gonna be cold. Period, all caps, no cap. So I'll see you in like a half hour when I go inside. Hi, I'm back inside for like the fifth time, but I promise this is the last time because I'm not going back out. Yeah, I'm done ranting, have my coffee. I'm about to sit here at this cute little desk that they have going on. And, and I, oh, I farted. I'm going to edit until eight o'clock when I leave. I am still literally freezing. I'll see you guys in like an hour. Okay. <laughs> So, remember how I was just ranting about about the manager? I was ranting about the manager earlier and how, you know, he was like super pressed that I stayed outside no matter what, all day, every day. So, the security guard just like walked somebody to turn on the grill for them. And then she came in and she was like, hi. And I was like, hi. And she was like, um, I was told. And immediately I was like, ho, oh, boy i know she is not about to tell me i have to go back outside and i got nervous and angry <laughs> she was like i was told that you're supposed to stay outside but i don't care as long as there's nobody in the pool like i don't really care so now i like her but yeah i'm still editing it is still not time yet <laughs> i have an hour so i'll see you in like an hour Hi. Okay, ladies and gents. It's time to to close up shop and the day to never come back. JK. It's been a day, but you know, all annoying things have to come to a close. And this is one of those things, baby girl. It is, I believe, 7.52 and I'm about to call my lift. <laughs> Anyways, I will end this video here. Thank you guys for watching my summer transformation, which is what it was supposed to be, but then it turned out to be a vlog and me ranting about life. But yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you give this video a big fat you stupid that was not the part where i spin around <laughs> but i will see you guys in the next one make sure you give this video a big fat thumbs up and share it with everyone ow you know had to do that vlog style i'm gonna go home now because i don't i don't want to be here so bye <laughs>